I think, yes, we are going to go live, and we're going live right now. We got several people coming on. We've got Nick Kelly. We've got Moak. We've got JJ. And uh, um, Aaron Short's going to be jumping on. Some other people will be jumping on. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, go ahead and give us an introduction to uh, to you. Oh, Space Cadet. We got Space Cadet joining. Who is who is the Space Cadet? Hello, Space Cadet. I'm a bit of a Space Cadet. <laughs> space Cadet. Uh, let's see. Aaron Short. Aaron is on. Space Cadet. Ten, calling up to Major Tom. So what's going on? What are we talking about? Talking about you. You look so thin. You almost look uh, anorexic. I, oh, I thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Aaron. <laughs> if I'm anorexic, then what's Nick Kelly? Uh, I went on a diet. I lost seafood. 50 pounds. Seafood diet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seafood and I eat it. I think I gained your weight. Okay. <laughs> uh, so welcome. This is a, kind of a post-NAM wrap-up helix. Uh, we got Jared coming in. Hey, Jared. Make sure hey, you what's happening? Yeah, you got your headphones on. Fantastic. We yep, got, the, got them on. Got the space cadet. Space cadet. Who is the space cadet? I want to make sure my lighting is good here. I'm not washed out. You're all washed out. You're, Am I? At least you're not washed up like me. <laughs> <laughs> am I? Am I washed out? Yeah, a bit. A little bright. All right. Let me let me fix it. You guys go ahead. I'll figure it out. Okay. All right. So <laughs> from the snow. So uh, okay, I'll just start off. Just open for them. And uh, what was your what was your favorite thing at Nam? Hanging out with you, buddy. Oh, oh you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that's great. Well, I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed hanging out with with uh, everybody. Uh, Chris Chris Saraga was uh, good to hang out with. Space Cadet, hello. Oh, I enjoyed eating half of your pretzel, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> that was that was yeah. great. That was good. It was it was a good pretzel, um, but yeah, I wish we could spend could have spent more time there, uh, Nick. Uh, but again, uh, you and Aaron had a pretty awesome uh, podcast the other day. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah, check them out. So look up uh, Nick Kelly um, on the podcast. I, yeah. What's, what's the name of your podcast, Nick? Uh, Musical Minds. Musical Minds. So look yeah. it up. It was actually really good. You get Aaron there talking about music and Aaron had a few really good performances at Nam, and that was pretty nice to, to hear about that and uh, uh, so that was great I got to play for Martin and also at the Helix uh, Line 6 event where they named you the founding fathers right yeah yeah that was kind of it's pretty cool it was uh, unexpected and nice and then and then I uh, found out well I actually found out that Chris, Chris can hold a secret pretty good because uh, apparently he knew that they were going to give me one of the one of the colored helixes at the event. But oh, wow! They couldn't do it. We had to wait for uh, they had to wait for the winner to choose the color. Or, and so you why got left with the pink? Yeah, why? Did <laughs> yeah, what's with the pink one? one? That's what he wanted, though. Chad wanted the pink one. I wanted the pink one. I actually, <laughs> I actually, at the show, I was, I was like, I, was, oh, I love that pink one. I even told people there, that pink one is awesome. So uh, I, I chose it. Yeah, I love pink. Pink is good. I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident in, yeah. in your manhood. <laughs> <laughs> I can rock. I was thinking I'm gonna have to get, get a pink guitar though. So. I can yeah, do that. to match it, yeah, yeah. You could yeah. borrow one yeah. of Hell Chris's it. pink shirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. He was wearing a pink shirt and one of those lays. I told him that's the only time you've been laid recently. <laughs> I think uh, Hello Kitty makes a pink guitar, don't they, Chad? So you I think they do. Yeah, I, I could get a Hello yeah. Kitty. I could rock a Hello <laughs> Kitty. Yeah, I have the chains of pickups. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Has anyone tried the G10S yet? Surprisingly, no, I haven't. Mm. Is wait a minute. Is that the? Uh, I know that they've released. Uh, is that a brand new one, or is that because I did try one of their wirelesses that is just the little plug-in jack? Is that what you're talking about? The it's the new Line Six wireless. Yeah. Yeah. Was it the other one? What was that? It's like the same kind of thing. It's a little, it's a a little jack. Yeah. It's a D10, but it's a less robust. Ah. Um, you know. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I tried that one. It doesn't work with these guitars, unfortunately, because they're stereo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had nothing but problems with it. I had sent it back. I thought it was a great concept, and as soon as I popped it in here, I was getting the piezo mixing with the, the, the pickups, and it was like this weird sound I was getting, and I was like, I called Line 6, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's not going to work with that. So the only thing I could do was plug it into another jack that had the, the, the TRS, and then plug it in, but then it's sticking out to here, you know, and I'm just, you know, that was just an accident waiting to happen. So did you try the right to... angle adapter they they include in the box now? Did you try that? Uh, yeah. And then it, what happened was then it was like way up here and it just, it was just wonky. It was really wonky. And I was like, oh man, yeah, it was kind of a bummer. So I ended up having to stick with my, uh, I ended up getting a sure GLX. So. Mm. works fine you know uh but uh had it not been for these this goofy system that i have here i i it would have worked perfectly because i thought the concept was great yeah it doesn't work with every guitar even with the adapter but yeah. when it does work when it does work it's, i think it's probably the best system when it oh, doesn't work it's... it doesn't work at all it's the problem yeah i thought it was great though i was really looking forward to having a really simple that's what line six is good at is making stuff that's just simple you know i mean it's obviously complex you know it's like they always say it's it's hard to make things simple but it's easy to make things hard <laughs> you know so they they did a great job with uh making a simple product but it just didn't work out for this guitar these guitars but uh, I actually, on that subject i actually got the this was actually released at nam the sennheiser one yeah so it's, so it's two bugs this this is cool because this is the only one in this format that actually works with active pickups so this oh. this this would work with your guitar and you can have it straight or angled so i'm oh. using i'm using this i've got a review on my channel That's and cool. I'm, I'm using this for my acoustic which is active because the the line six one doesn't work at all with that guitar but i want to get the g10s to use of my strat because that's passive and that's you. you know I, I do prefer this is a pain because you got to charge them both up whereas the the uh, line six one was charging all the time got but you. this this will work with active pickups which is cool and I actually told the guys from Line Six about this one too, so they can look at it. But um, this is a cool solution for now. It's on my on my YouTube channel. Check it out. They, oh, thank you. Does that the have uh, the TRS on it? No, it's a it's a regular jack. Oh, it can be yeah, angled. I still, to, I still have to get the TRS for these because these guitars are stereo. No, you've got two outputs on that, right? Uh, nope, just one. I don't know if you can see that. No, but just doesn't that? One. What what kind of guitar is that? It's a JP, uh, it's a Music Man Majesty Monarchy series. So it's got uh, the piezo too. That's why it's got the piezo pickup. Right. Well, I had, I used to have a PRS like that and it wasn't a problem, but it had two, it had two um, outputs. So, so when you use a regular cable with that guitar, do you have like a TRS cable then? Not a, no. No, so this nope. will work then. This is just like replacing a regular cable. I'll yeah, give that a try. Check, check it out. Check it out. They got my um, sweet water. Check it out. What's the name of your channel? Um, Aaron Short Music, A A R O N Short Music. You probably see me on the group all the time promoting it. Yeah, I'll check it out for sure. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah thank you. I'm looking, I'm looking you up right now. Yeah, please subscribe. Thank you. I did. Yeah, I did I to your. I did to yours. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'll check you out. A R O N Short, right? Yeah, I want to get the G10S soon. I'll do a review of that one as well. Ah, cool. That's pretty cool. Let's see, I just subbed you right now. Thanks, Man. Bunny. Appreciate it, Bunny. Yeah. Give me high five. Star. Give me high five. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweet, man. Yeah, yeah I enjoyed that. I enjoyed walking around there and finding things like that, you know, stuff I didn't know yeah. was coming out. It was fun. I wish I would have went. I wish I would have went this year, but I, I was too uh, busy with other things here. 
Mm. I was redoing my whole um, my studio here for my channel, and I just could not get away. And I'm going next year though, because a lot of people mm. are like, "Man, you got to go! It's so good for your channel." I'm like, "Well, I, yeah, but I got a. I just reached a thousand subs, so I had to." do some upgrades around here to make it, you know, make it better and more fancy for everybody. So, um, so that's what I was doing while you guys were having fun. I was painting my walls black. <laughs> I didn't get to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So everything's black now, you know, so I got that really nice kind of thing where I, it looked like, I look like I'm floating now, like all my videos, <laughs> there's just no, I look like I'm in deep space, you know? So maybe one of these, an alien, will pop out of my chest. I don't know. Wear, wear a black sweater. You look like a floating head. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Futurama. <laughs> yeah, the channel's rocking, Jared. <laughs> Enjoying it, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, JJ, by the way. Oh, that's right. I thought I recognized you, man. Yeah, rock <laughs> on. Yeah, miss you at now, man. That would have been awesome to see you there, brother. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, well, next year for sure I'll be there. Cool, man. Yeah, that'll be fun, man. I, I'm really looking forward to meeting everybody and hanging out. My buddy uh, Jamie Trevino went uh, this time. Yeah. And he was like, bro, you missed out. I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh, man. Yeah, videos. What, Jared, was he supposed to be on today? Um, I think so, but um, I talked to him earlier on the phone, and he, he got three hours of sleep last night. So, oh, man. Uh, yeah, he had a gig. So every time he has a gig, he's, he always, a lot of times he'll call me on the way home. Dude, stay oh, with me so I can stay awake. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. that weather where he lives, man. He's posted a picture. Dude, driving back in those that weather condition, crazy. Oh, that, bad. that Detroit, he lives in Detroit. Is that right? Uh, he lives in uh, it's like Birch Run. It's like by Frankenmuth, and mm. uh, yeah, it's kind of like everybody calls everything in Michigan Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but, I just uh, I, I yeah. met him once, but I wasn't sure exactly where he's from. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, it's like an hour and a half north of Detroit, but it's uh, yeah, like right now it's it's snowing like crazy outside. And last week, oh wow, we yeah, last week we had like uh, sub zero temperatures, and like the roads were all like sheets of ice. It was just it was oh. crazy. It was like ten wow. below. <laughs> yeah, but you guys all have uh, block heaters on your cars, right? No, no, my no. Uh, my truck actually wouldn't start one day, so I had to put a trickle charger on it overnight, and then it started just fine the next day. But yeah, that was kind of weird. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's been pretty cold this year. Um, I've missed a lot of work because of it, but I'm not complaining because I'd rather be home playing my guitar and making episodes than washing trucks. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah. So Jared, what what do you, what do you have planned for your uh your youtube channel well right now i'm uploading um a uh a review and giveaway i'll give you guys the inside scoop if you uh mm. if you email Vinny, uh i put an email link on there the first 20 guys that emails Vinny um gets a chance to win a, a package of uh gifts from him like he's from v picks um so i just reviewed these picks i don't know if you can it's hard to tell if you guys could see all this or not but uh Dude, his picks are super loud. They're like the loudest picks I've ever played. They're really like uh, bombastic sounding. It's like playing your guitar with a freaking battle axe. You know, it's crazy. I just uh, saw your notification come up for that one. Oh, did you? Oh, is it up now? Yeah, it just came up right now. <laughs> oh, sweet. That's yeah, coincidence. That's <laughs> <laughs> sweet. Yeah, that was, that was a fun video to do. And I actually give you guys a bunch of like audio examples got one. on... Uh, what they sound like compared oh you got one yeah i got yeah. several i know Vinny. yeah Vinny's cool guy man i went to his house yeah, <laughs> yeah. you got the you got the screamer huh look at this one's crazy oh, colossal? colossal i can't even play this one to be honest but it, it's <laughs> it's cool Rapers. makes a great paperweight sorry <laughs> <laughs> or, or a home defense mechanism, yeah you know? this That's one cool. you could you could kill somebody with this one look at this yeah. one wow crazy. It's like a ninja yeah. tool. Yeah. Aren't they yeah throwing cool? star. Yeah. 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 I like this is my favorite. The uh the medium. Ah, uh, yeah, I got that one too. It's yep. Just a glow in the dark version. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but then I, I got my free gravity picks. Yeah. Ah, those are nice too. You know what Vinny told me when I was on the phone with them is that Chris from Gravity used to work with Vinny. Yes. Uh, yep. 
Well, so, uh, well, are they a, are they similar material? The VPix and the Gravity. I think so. They look like glass. What's that? Yeah. It's well, not Plex. Plexiglass is a is a brand name. I, th I believe it's acrylic. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm still really blown away cool. with the um, the chicken picks, man. That I'm I'm still rolling the same chicken pick from two years ago. That thing doesn't dent. I know, isn't it crazy? It just keep two years. I've had that thing and hit it hard, man. It just rolls forward. Yeah, what about those? what? What about blue chip? What about what? I, blue chip. I don't know about them. Hey, what about these these new picks? These are some really thick picks. <laughs> Just kidding. You probably can't see it. Shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they, Those are I awesome. Place my order with you. Yeah, the blue yeah. chip, like forty dollar pick, right? Yeah, yeah. This, what do you have the TV? Oh I have the TV thirty five. Yeah. But you know, I, I've you know, Jim Jim Dunlop. I use the Jazz Three XL. God bless him. Oh, yeah. Poor Jim, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I don't even I don't even play jazz, but it's great. That, they, are <laughs> yeah. awesome. they, they stick to your fingers, those ones as well, Aaron. Yeah, yeah. great great yeah. control, soft yeah. acoustic cool. electric. Oh, great. Yeah. Awesome picks. Those those chicken picks are amazing though. I bought a couple of sample packs of those and I reviewed those a couple of weeks ago. And you're right, JJ, those things last forever, you know. And, and they got a unique tone as well. They got a new a new right. unique little thunk to them. Exactly. You're you're exactly right. Like when you're playing on like the the bassier type strings, the thicker strings on the guitar, you can really hear all the hair they put on the notes. I mean, there's yeah. like this really, I don't know, I don't know what to call it. There's this weird thing, but weird in a good way, thing that they do, and they make your notes sound uh, kind of round but hairy at the same time. It's nuts, you know. And uh, I really like those. I mean, those kind of remind me if you were playing guitar for a ship full of Vikings that were marooned on an island. And you said, hey guys, can you, can you make me a pick? And they would go find like something and like carve a pick for you and go, here you go. And that's going to be the one, man. Remind me of. <laughs> yep. yeah. uh, they're, they're incredible. Anyone who hasn't tried them, chicken picks, man, for sure. Yeah, they're mm. sick. They're, they're really good. I don't know why they call them chicken picks, though. Why did they did they say? Or I don't remember. Um, I don't picking. Know. It's from chicken picking, surely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like the country guys, they use their yeah. finger and the pick chicken picking. They call it. I guess uh, that's where it comes from. I think these Viking picks. these Clayton protein picks are my favorite for bluegrass and electric, actually. Mm. Protein. Yeah, the Clayton protein pick. Protein pick. <laughs> yeah, they're like a about a two two mil. Something oh, they're yeah. pretty thick. Yeah, they're low carb, I favorite. guess. They're awesome. <laughs> They're oh, amazing. Picks. If you if eat you... them, you get big biceps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> you put them in the blender with some milk and eggs, and you're all good. Your picks, give, give them to me you. now. Give them to me now. <laughs> get to the chopper. Yes. <laughs> so, the question, um, who here are using the Helix? Yes. You mean right, so your hand. <laughs> right, right now. Does it mean right now to talk to go? I'll raise both hands for the helix. I got to tell you, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm leaning so, on my helix so, right now. So, what do you guys think of the uh, the announcement that Eric made about 2.8? Let's let's talk a little bit about the difference yeah. that you're looking forward in 2.8. The easily my the the uh, bypass thing on the for the snapshots, the ability to bypass each block that is oh, going to yeah. be really cool yeah that's that awesome. seems like one of the best things i don't know what was that bypass the block in a snapshot can't can you do that already yeah explain that George. yeah please uh i'm not sure exactly the all the details but i think that on each one it'll have a it, its own setting so that you can it'll either be part of a snapshot or not like the enabled uh whether it's enabled or disabled or whatever like so, so one of the things that that i found frustrating with building snapshots over the past that i think this this fixes and addresses is the fact that if you were to create your whole preset and then you wanted to add something you didn't necessarily want it part of a snapshot it would be in on in all the snapshots and you had to oh go, yeah you had yeah. to go in and turn it that's off, it. off turn it yeah. off uh, that's what it was 
Yeah, that used okay. to annoy me. And I had to go through every one and change it. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was silly, yeah. yeah. So this sick. is going to be really good just to be able to say no. That's what it was. This yeah. isn't part. Right. So, so there's actually awesome. something even cooler coming out with, with respect to that is I think you're going to be able to have a, a specific block uh, be ignored in the snapshots. Right. So, so like if you wanted to yeah. be able to have access to it whenever you want to, you can turn it on or off. And then when you go to a new snapshot, it'll stay on or off. It's ignored well, yeah, by the snapshot. Okay. So, right. so, yeah. so guys that like to do like a to do it like a, in a pedal board kind of configuration, you could maybe have uh, three or four snapshots on the bottom to do like your different gain stages or channel like amp channels, and the top ones could be just the uh, effects, and they would be uh, ignored by the snapshot settings. So that you know, when, so it'd be like a traditional pedal board. So whenever you go to you know whatever you kick in a drive, you can switch to the next uh, channel on your amp. And the drive will stay on instead of going to whatever the save state was when that in that snapshot. So that's awesome. It'll be kind of a neat thing to have just to have maybe like a boost switch if you wanted to. That's and always you can have that ignore all the snapshot settings so that you have manual control over that anytime you want in any snapshot and it retains its state. Even if you go back to another snapshot, the boost will stay on like a separate like pedal. Would. Snapshot ignore. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And any, anyone in the chat who's not familiar with all these strange words, it is gobbledygook, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is. But once you do have your helix, these kind of terms do become familiar and it is very easy to understand. It's pretty it's like another language. It, it is, yeah, like it, it is what you was what Moke was saying there was literally another <laughs> language to a lot of people. Yeah, old, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Actually, I, I think it'd be interesting to ask Nick because Nick uses a well, helix, right? right. But, but uh, Nick, tell us, tell us at your last gig how you had it set up because I know you're not like a you're not regular in the group, like talking about this stuff all the time. Mm. So, how did you use it at your last gig as someone who doesn't get that deep into it? Without... Well, I mean, yeah, I'm not really uh, technically adept, let's say, but I, I still managed to figure it out pretty easily and. Um, there's really two ways that I use the um, the Helix, but the, the last gig, we did a gig last night in Anaheim, which is uh, right next to Disneyland, for those of you that don't know. Yeah, the fifth. It was a rooftop bar. And the, the sound guy came up to me before the gig, and he said, look, is there any way we can keep the volume down tonight? And I you know, I thought about it. I thought, yeah, I, I can go direct to the desk. And he's like, oh, that'd be great. And with the slight apprehension i you know i i uh, went ahead with it because i when i say that is because i haven't really played like that before but i thought well i'll give it a shot and um and it went extremely well literally he took an xlr out of the back of the helix and and put it into um to to the desk and uh and i had a little monitor in front of me so i could hear what i was playing and it worked wonderfully and i actually heard some clips and the tone sounds great and i was really happy and and i thought i was actually quite worried because i'm so used to having an amp behind me and i was i'm still kind of old school i like to to have the amp there and all that but it, it actually was way beyond what i what i expected and that was with the drummer and like it was an eight-piece band so wow. you know and it, it worked great wow. so i was really happy so what amp do you usually use uh i think there's a couple that i use i can't remember uh both of them but i definitely use the matchless i really like the match i think it's the channel two or, or whatever matchless for the drive um i like to kind of overdrive that one and uh for this for dirty a little bit of uh delay a little bit of reverb and really not much else and, and that sounds great and then um and then for the clean uh I can't remember. I think it might be a Fender, or maybe okay. it's a Matchless Channel One. I can't remember. But it, anyway, they, they both of them sound great. And for clean, I have one channel that's just clean with reverb, and then another channel that's uh, uh, clean with reverb and chorus, and, and then another one with delay as well. And and it just co it covers all the bases bases that I that I need. And uh, I have the volume pedal kind of assigned as well, so I can use that to turn up or turn down. How did you like the venue? Say that again. Oh, so I was just wondering how you liked that venue. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It was freezing cold last night. Was it? Well, not freezing, freezing, but it was cold Pretty for cold. Ca California yeah. cold. Let's say that. <laughs> I just Which ironic because my band's oh, so playing like there in, in two weeks. Mm. Oh, oh really? nice, cool. nice. So I was just curious what you like. We haven't played there yet, so it's a Wednesday night, so we're gonna play there in 
two Ooh, weeks. You should go. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I, I will. I will. And and take a sweater with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did the little I fire just... pits help much or anything? No, because mm. they don't have the, those on the stage. I mean, it's mm. fine in between sets. You can stand next to them, but um, it's really uh, you're kind of exposed when you're up on the stage. Yeah, I just I just thought it was cool because like I'm I'm always trying to I've made a patch with snapshots, changed all these things. I'm waiting for the new firmware, and I saw Nick's picture of his of his board that he posted on social media, and I thought I was like, this guy's just got like six blocks, six blocks, yeah. and it's direct. You know, it's so simple. Now I think you should like experiment with the advanced stuff too. Right, but it goes to show you don't need to, which is no. cool, isn't it? You don't it need to get fine. too lost, right? You can just right. use it as simply as you like to. Yeah, and I understand some people might be worried about the plethora of options, you know, get overwhelmed with it. But you don't have to use all of it, you know. It's, it sounds great, you know, out of the box pretty much just with some very simple um, presets. Yeah, uh, I, I posted a high gain uh, patch once on, on the Facebook group and it was literally just a Mesa with a drive in front of it, very old school, 808 in front of it, uh, you know, uh, a stock speaker cab afterwards and the thing was monstrous sometimes you just got to go back to that basic and i'll always right. yeah. go, to a, go yeah. to a new preset my head's blowing just get something real straight real simple you're right yeah. you're right because so many people i've said it before on my channel if you treat it like an amp it'll sound like an amp if you treat it like a science project it's going to sound like a freaking science project you know i mean that's yeah that's really what happens and that's well, why you, you got the room of glory haven't you? you you got your basic setup or you can walk yeah. into that room with with a hundred different amps different speaker options it's as deep as you want to go man yeah you know and i, I think the, the biggest problem that a lot of people uh biggest i should say the biggest mistake a lot of people make with digital gear is they get into all the features and they're like, oh my God, I could do all these things. And it's like, well, like yeah. the old saying goes, just because you can doesn't mean you should. You right. Mm -hmm. Less so, is more. Uh, it's called, yeah. You, you got, that's yeah, why there's more. Like, you know, that's have, why some, have some cool. effects and do some cool stuff. But, but for crying out loud, you start tweaking and turning knobs. And, you know, I got three <laughs> cab sims going and 27 <laughs> microphones and eight delay pedals. It's like, dude, that. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds like a horrible science experiment gone wrong, you know? So hey, tweaking's yeah. part of being a tone chaser though, man, in it. Let's face it. I think that's why the stump is very, the stump is very successful because you can just load up an amp on that and use your 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 old analog panel board and straight into yeah. it. You know, yeah, right. you can yeah. you can bypass all that stuff and not have those options. Although I like to have the options sometimes as well, but I think that's why people love the stump, right? They can do that. Yeah. Options so, are great, but you gotta learn how to restrain you know, I'm going to take a I, moment here and uh, address the uh, uh, comments here. So uh, say hi to a few people. Oh. Got Kai down here. Uh, Gary Davlin. Uh, Jason Sedites. Uh, hey, Jason. Yeah, he, hey, Jason. He couldn't stay. Hey, Jason. Popped in to say hi. Jason Wade. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason Wade. Rock on. Uh, somebody new. Uh, Felix thrash, coming metal, soon, I think. Crash metal and fun. Fun riffs. Always there, Thrash. And then uh, RJD Mad One. Hey, buddy. Uh, okay. And then we got, uh, you know, of course, JJ. And then uh, uh, da, 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 da. And we got uh, R2, R3 Locking Nut. Hey, buddy. And then, Is that from uh, Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, He's a shred master from Star Brock, Wars. Trust me. We got Brock Shout out R2. And then uh, Dan Frankham and uh, Terry. Hey, Terry. Everybody knows Terry. Terry, Terry. Terry Bear. <clears throat> and then uh, Alex Knievel. And we got Marco74. Hi, guys. And, Hello, everybody. Uh, hey. <laughs> Alex and Brock and Alex and Jason. Oh, Brock's there. Yeah, Brock's in here. He he didn't have his setup. He was going to come on, but so uh, we got uh, uh, a full crew. Just about a full crew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got room for two more. Anybody in the chat want to come on? Jason, Jason Wade, you want to come on? Uh, we've we've got too many Jasons in here already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see Alex Knievel in the chat. I know he has a lot of good uh, Helix. Yeah, Alex, Alex, you want to come in? Just say, say yeah. Say, say you want to come in. 
Okay, I forgot oh. about the, the tweet Arr. deluxe. Oh, we got a dog on the show. Who let, who let the dogs out? I'm, <laughs> as soon as she shuts up, I'll bring her on. Or he'll let anybody. Uh, maybe it was Glenn. He always has a dog with him. So. He's like, don't forget me. Don't forget to introduce me. <laughs> this is, oh, wow. is this coming through, guys? Because I'm just jamming. I I just fidget. So if this is bothering you guys, just let me know. If this oh, is my God. Oh, I Listen, I can't stand it. Listen, I, yeah, I'm yeah. Very, I'm very, oh, oh, man. Yeah. You hate guitar. You need I to try, think, try a different IR. Uh, I can't I can't hear it at all. Yeah, I can't even hear it. Good, good. Are you I getting the amp in the room feel there, Jared? Can you feel the amp? <laughs> yeah. oh, man. Freaking blowing my hair back, man. Can you feel that? Can you feel the thump? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Love you, bro. <laughs> amp in the room. It's a, me, and, me and Jared have had many chats about amp in the room, man. Cause, yes, we have. Hey, speaking of amp in the room, I, I've, I've, got, I've got a fix for that. <laughs> Well, put an amp in the room. <laughs> well, there's that. A nice well, little eight-inch plastic cab. No, it's my, it's my, my OTB my OTB settings. I, I, I did, not tried those yet. I did make an IR. So. Yeah, that's right. Where is that? Where is it? Where is it? It's it's in my computer. Oh. I will just say, just to get it out there, you know, my instant amp in the room feel was the day I bought the Friedman ASM into the room. And I know that was right, it. Baby. That was it. That's right. They are good. They are good. But they're heavy. Yeah. Are they good? They're heavy. Yeah. That's part. Yeah. Of, you know, you've got to pay your dues, man. Yeah. The the thing is, I, it's it's a big topic. You know, it, it's funny. I'm glad this is coming up because this topic is huge. I mean, it's like every day I see it on on all of the the different groups out there, the digital platform groups, it's like. You know, what should I get? What kind of speaker should I get? And this and that. And I don't think people really realize how important it is uh, that uh, you get the right kind of speaker cabinet because that's the thing that has the last bit of say on what gets out into the room. You know, it's kind of like oh, yeah. the chef at the pass, you know. And I got to tell you, like the Friedman ASCs and the ASMs are, in my opinion, like the Gordon Ramsay of chefs at the pass. I mean <laughs> – it will not let anything you. through. Yeah, it'll it'll. <laughs> well, the thing is, is it's very, it's very true. It's like what what comes out of that thing. Let's. I'll just put it to you this way: if your tone sounds like crap coming out of that thing, it's not the cab. Yeah. It's whatever you dialed in your modeler, you know, and it's going to tell you all that stuff. So, um, I've done so many shootouts with that thing and it's killed everything. Like it's not even been a contest. It's absolutely like slaughtered everything that I've put up against it. And, uh, you know, I don't think, and I don't really think that people really realize how important it is that you get the right cab. You know, it's a, it's a big thing. And some people like initial you know, investment though. I mean, they are high dollar. So it's an initial investment against the yeah. options available. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely an investment, you know, but the, the way I look at it is this, like you can, you can, you can spend like 200 bucks or $300 on a cheaper, like a plastic kind of, you know, thing. And I'm not knocking people that do that. I get it. We're all on different budgets. So do what you got to do. God bless you. You know? Um, but I guess the thing is, is, uh, you know, the people say, well, I don't want to spend that much. And I don't, even though I have the means, I don't really think it's worth it. But really, to me, it's like, how, how much is it worth to you to have the proper tone? I mean, you spent $1,500 on a Helix. Uh, why wouldn't you have something that would tell you the truth about what you're doing when you're turning knobs? You know? Yeah, it's um, not just about the amp in the room feel. It's what's coming out of that speaker is yeah. transparent. It's, okay, yeah. so it's critical. What I yeah. did is, is, in the, is in the chat, I actually uh, – Pasted a link to my uh, OTB uh, Super Duper IR, and if anybody wants to give me feedback, I don't care. Was that your original one from from, yeah. from months back? Okay. No, no. It, well, it's, your original o my OTB oh. original. Yeah, I turned it into an IR. Okay, so I remember the original. I haven't seen it turned. It, okay, I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna check it out again too. It's been a while. But did you all read the article, the interview that did you know, Eric Klein did? Uh, at Nam about um, amp in the room and um, modelers. You all read that because he, he no, said because he, he he said what I've been thinking. You know, at the end of the day, the IR is the mic cab in the other room. 
it's not going to sound like the cabinet. You're hearing that mic sound. So while yep. your monitor speaker is important, it's not going to sound the same as a physical amp there. Yeah. And and they made the Helix to work with, you know, they, they and I think a lot of those guys do use real real amps as well anyway. You know, so yeah. there's, there's, so many, there's so many options. That's, no, why, you're, you're, that's why I made right. That's what I do. That's, that's why I, but that's why I made this particular is because then it's, there's no mic there's right no box. That's why I called it outside the box. Uh cool. I'll you know, try that. You know, yeah, try it's it, it, it's different different um, you know, some people loved it. Ruby, and some right? people hated it. They said it sounded like garbage, but well, I just I, I, I dismissed their assessment. I see <laughs> Oh. I've had similar experience with acoustic guitars because when I use the IR, it sounds amazing recorded, but live, it doesn't have that cut that like a piezo. Everyone says, oh, the piezo sounds quacky, you know, but that quack can sometimes be what cuts through the air. Right. And same with an amp, that can push through, that can push through the air. Now, if you can set up the Helix with a Friedman to, to do that, then that's great and, and, and good luck to you. But I haven't got there yet, although when I did try the Friedman at NAM last year, I think I used it with something else, but um, it did sound really good. I'd like to try it again. But it's just yeah, so heavy. Yeah. I'm like, well, I'll just use my amp, you know? I don't know. Well, they're worth it. And the thing is, is uh, they have an ASC-10, which I just I did yeah. a review of and a shootout with. And, uh, dude, the ASC-10 is amazing. Yeah. I mean, you're really not – you're giving up 30 pounds. That's pretty much what you're giving <laughs> up to buy it. That's a lot. You know, so the I sound mean, is still good? You, you would recommend yeah. that one? You would recommend yep, it, that? Okay. Absolutely. If you go on my channel, you can watch. I actually did a shootout with the ASC-10 against the ASC-12. And okay. you can't really tell the difference between the two. And especially when you're in the room. I mean, you know how it is when you're doing, you know, shootouts and stuff. I mean, I have a mic. And it's like, you know, all you're getting is what the mic's picking up. You're not really getting, like, standing in front of it and having it freaking kneecap you while you're doing palm mutes and stuff. So mm. um, when these things are sitting in a room with you and you're doing really heavy, you know, palm mutes, I mean, it's just, I, I, I say it's shin shattering good for a reason. You going? I mean, it's just, it's like a baseball bat to your shins, man. Yeah, I mean, but Jar thing. Jared, that's why your channel is so important because if you think about it, with the Helix, you're hearing a mic of the amp through the Helix. And then when we watch your videos, we're hearing a mic from your... Yeah. monitor through the youtube so we <laughs> we need you to just say like this is that's what i do on my channel i just say look i used yeah. the gig it worked or it didn't because that's all we really need to know right so yeah. if you yeah. say it's good then we should check it out so i just yeah, want to acknowledge i just want to acknowledge brock davison thank you brock for the five dollars hi buddy that's kind of you and if you oh. if anybody feels like they want to toss them in that's that's much appreciated but it's not not necessary i i really appreciate your uh um uh you gotta feed the cats brock's gonna go pencil and <laughs> just a, a quick tangent on these That's like awesome. i run also run four cable method so i i'm coming out of my helix into the friedman on an xlr i've also got a couple of lamps behind there the diesel wow. and the mesa oh, and i'll nice. go through four cable method but uh even running an ir into your regular cabs in the speakers sometimes you can tweak that to sound killer yeah so yeah. it's not like you don't have to have an ir going through your amp you can put an ir through your amp and tweak it with eq or whatever and you can get it to sound killer so some of my patches i actually do use in four cable methods through the amp with an ir and it sounds thick and awesome so, so here's here's the key this is the key this is the key to tone the key to uh, don't just throw out the book about what is what in the helix. There's no rules. Look, there's no rule. Yeah. Yep. Put whatever you want, wherever you want, however you want, and when you like the sound that comes out, that's you, right. You got it. Let your ears that's do the talking, man. Yep. Yeah, it's Eddie Van Halen yeah. rule. If it sounds that's, good, it if is it good. It sounds good, it is good. Yeah. That's great <laughs> advice for people that are experienced. But you got to realize we got all these new people in here that, that are like, that just get the Helix and they're like, why the hell doesn't this sound good? Oh, that's true. because true. Yeah, it's because yeah. they're trying to put like the whole thing through their, you know, Spider Line 6 or whatever, or yeah. their Line 6 Spider. And, and they don't understand that you, there are some rules, at least when you first that's start. You know? No, no. Yeah. You, well, yeah. I mean, you have to have something that's adequate to hear the tone. Uh, there's people who 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 will use studio monitors now. Now I, I've I've been using these these speakers, and I've used these to cut albums. I've used it to do uh, everything, and 
and I use it to play the helix route. Now, it doesn't sound like, you know, 412 sitting behind me because it's impossible. They're five-inch speakers. There's four of them. It's an all tape Lansing 15-year-old computer speakers. They're right. They're right. Right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. They sound incredible. They're flat. They're great. They're, in fact, if I ever, if these ever die, and they have, they're probably 20 years by now, 20 years old. Uh, See, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of with you. I've been using a modeler of some sort since 93 with this power amp and those cabs, and I've never got rid of them, even though starting in 95, I started using these. I have at least uh, six and a half inch reference monitors up here, and I've been going FRFR. Of course, we called it direct yeah. back then uh, into, into those the whole time, but I've never got rid of the the Hughes and Kettner amp, solid state amp, and the two one twelves. Yeah, you use what works. Use what makes you feel good. You, uh, and, and listen, um, yeah, don't expect those those studio monitors to push the air that. No, ever. It's, it's never going to happen. Nope. So it's just uh, it's for a different purpose. It's for the, I think, for recording more. The way I explained to some people, it's like the it's like a recording of a train going by, versus standing next to the train going by. You know, yeah. it's That's it's true. the same sound, but it's not the same experience. You know, it's yeah. right. It's a and different the animal. The closest you'll get to it, and I agree with you. The closest that you'll get to it is with a cab that has a really good full, obviously full range flat response that's true. Um, and also that has good resonance, you know, like the, yeah. wooden, the wood cabs. I mean, the Makes thing that, well, let me, let me just clarify some things too, while we're, while we're staying on the subject. And I'm glad that we are on the subject because it's, it's probably the most important subject there is really when it comes to guitar tone is that, you know, there's a difference between boominess and resonance. You know, people buy these plastic yeah. units and they're like, it's so boomy. And it's like, yeah, it is. It's boomy because the thing has an inferiority complex. <laughs> it's trying to make up for the resonance that it can't create. And that's what the that's what the makers of that cab are doing. They're trying to create some sort of – but it, it's, it's artificial because it's plastic. It can't resonate. It, it can only – they can only tune it to be boomy, but the wood cabs actually resonate. And when you stick those things on the floor – you can feel it's like getting a foot massage. Yeah. You know what you're gonna have to do, Jared. <laughs> you're know? gonna have to take the guts out of one of those plastic cabs and put them in a birch cab, mate, and see what they do. That's a great <laughs> idea. I've been I thinking like about that. it for months, but that's I, I mean, you go buy one of these cheaper, budget yeah. friendly plastic cabs and go and go to some wood shop and say, build me a birch cab <laughs> and stick all these guts in it. Here's one of the things that's right. interesting about that is is it's it possible that it's gonna sound like utter garbage after that <laughs> and here's why is because of the technology yeah, they that. put in that it's tuned for for what yeah, it's right. doing. so while uh, uh, maybe to a point i mean this is the argument with the new head rush cab and the alto cab are they the same or aren't they the same so is it really yeah. tuned or are they just yeah. chucking yeah. stuff in they, cabs they came yeah. off the same same line yeah there you yeah. go Good night, yeah. i did the review of those and i did the the shootout of those and Guys, I'm not kidding you. For guys that you are watching, once again, if you're on a budget, I totally understand. And I'm not a snob. I'm not a gear snob. And I'm not looking down on people that have those. I mean, God bless you. You know, I mean, you got to have what you got to have. I totally get it. And all due respect to everybody. But if you have the means, uh, <clears throat> definitely spend the money, invest into uh something and do a shootout between the two at a store and mm. you'll hear the blanket being lifted off of of like a good cab it's like the blanket's gone and now you can hear your tone and um and on top of that you're not going to get that boominess everybody complains about you're going to get resonance because there is a freaking mm. difference if there wasn't a difference, they wouldn't have a resonance knob on the back of a lot of amplifiers out there because you could just turn up the bass, right? But it's a different yeah. thing because that's why that resonance knob is there. It gives you a completely different feel. There's even a big um, difference between that and um, like the, the thick plywood or I mean uh, like MDX and the and plywood, right? Oh, what? yeah. Well, here's I, I, I had a, a really interesting conversation with Buck, who owns ISP Technologies, and I'm lucky for my house. Um, 
if you guys aren't familiar with them, they build uh, cabs and PAs, and they build the, yeah. the decimator pedal, you know. Right. Um, and I tried out their vector uh, cabs, and they're amazing. They're really good. And um, I asked, I talked to him about Baltic Birch. And I hate to do yeah. this, but, I mean, I'm doing this for everyone else's benefit, too. I thought Baltic Birch was just a type of tree, you know, but it actually comes from a Baltic forest in, is it Russia? I think it's Russia. Yeah, yeah I think it's Russia. And here's okay. the thing that he told me. Here's an interesting thing. Story time. Uh, he said that I think it was in the 80s, early 80s. It was sometime a ways back. Um, they had a, a horrible uh, freeze in the forest, and uh, they couldn't harvest the wood. So he said at that time they had to get the wood from a birch wood from a different part of the world. And he said, you know, we had to build these cabinets. So they put these cabinets together thinking, well, birch is birch, right? Big freaking deal. Well, they put these cabinets together, and he said all of us were like, holy crap. These sound like crap. I mean, he said there are to this day a whole bunch of cabs out there that were built with this wood that no one really knows that it's not Baltic birch. Yeah. He said all of us were extremely disappointed with the resonance huh. on these cabs. They sounded thin, and they sounded terrible. He goes, I don't know what it is, but there's something to be said about Baltic birch, and that's why they all insist on using Baltic birch, not birch. Yeah. yeah. There's less oh. less air in it. There's less air, less less, less air. Yeah, you're right. In the wood. More dense. He yeah, it's more they dense. Cut the wood <laughs> what it is. <laughs> but so to like, throw, was... throw a curve against that, Marsh, all the original Marshall's cabs and the magic cabs from back in the day, um, they were they they weren't even wood. You know, the backings were the MDF or whatever. You know. Really? Yeah. Yeah. On the original Marshalls were MDF back in the day, just that cheap composite oh, wood wow. dust. <laughs> Sawdust. You know what was what was big at Nam at Nam this year? There was a few guys like Mission had an had an amp with a full range horn as well, which you could blend in. So you could actually go between the two. You have a, you have like real real amp, or you have a four as a full range speaker, or anywhere in between. Yeah. So you could go between both. So a, few, a few guys are doing that now with the hybrid stuff. Yeah, that, cool. I mean, oh, are a few of them doing it, or just them, just Mission? I think the new Kemper Cab is doing that. I think. Okay. And I think that's I think that's going to be a oh, thing yeah. going yeah. forward. Nice. I mean, I, I sat in front of that with uh with um you know the main guy from Michigan there. What's his name? The English dude. Paul. Oh yes, Paul. 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 Yeah. Paul Paul's awesome. Yeah. Paul's a and we had a guy. really good, really good listen through that and went through all its ranges. And Jared, if you could have stood in front of that, it would uh, open your eyes to a lot of what we've discussed with this sort of stuff. Yeah. As you mm -hmm. as you bring that tweeter in, it just gets. Bigger and fuller nice. and bigger. It was oh. quite mind blowing. I want to check that out. What's it called? Shh. What are they calling it? Gemini two. Mission Gemini two. No, it's not. No. It's, a new, it's, a new it's a new thing. Gemini two. It's that was their thing. last cab. It's, it's it's like the Gemini, but you can use the Helix can actually change that tweeter control. You see it oh. turning. You see it turning by itself from yeah, through MIDI. Through, through MIDI, yeah. Why am I just hearing about this now? Because you want it now. Yeah. You're too busy playing the, playing the rules. Well, Paul had posted it all over, the, all over the Facebook group as well. Yeah, I didn't see anything about it at all. Yeah, it looks like it's a separate little head that sits on top of a standard cabinet. So that you can do, and it has tweeters in it, and it lets you just blend in a certain amount of high end with your oh, traditional okay. cab. Oh, that's cool. I got like some footage of it, Jared. I'll message it to you. I've got the whole thing with the, with the volume you. moving by itself as it goes through the range. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, JJ. I, I want to check that out big yeah. time. You know, I think Kemper kind of missed the boat with their uh, with the cab. Kemper cone uh, because it's not powered. I'm like, mm. What's, what are you guys doing? You know, why are you making an unpowered passive? I mean, I get making a passive, but what making only passive? It's like, what were you thinking? You know, I mean, here's a car without a motor. Pick whatever motor you want. <laughs> well, I. I <laughs> I oh, it's called, the range, it's called the Range Master. Range Master. That's it. The Range Master. Yeah, that's it. it, it mind blowing. Mind blowing. Yeah, it is very yeah. cool. I want to check that out for sure. Yeah, that's. They're a great company. They make a lot of really good stuff. I mean, I'm sure we all have their pedals, right? I mean, I yeah. have like three or four of them. I mean, they're killer pedals. Did I you guys the notice out. the difference with using using the expression pedal from Mission that it changed the tone of the was? 
to me, it improved the tone of the wars within the helix. Wow, really? I haven't. Yeah. Heard oh, how is that? How is that possible? That's is it within? Is it the sweep range, or I don't mm -hmm. know? But if I, if I, you know, <laughs> move between each I, panel, I it's right. a different tone. Yeah, the, the way it oh. speaks it might sound different to your ear. Yeah. yeah. That's to me, it, to me, it, it improved. I mean, I know a lot of people have talked about the wars. To me, it improved. I came from a Jerry Cantrell war, which was an incredible standalone yeah. war. I mean, it was top tier war to me of all the wars through all the yeah. year. That's and very, uh, I once I got that, uh, the mission panel hooked into the line six. It was my Christmas present. Cheers, family. And wow. uh, dude, it was like, whoa, man. All my war settings within my patches. And I told Paul this once the mission was in, I was like, whoa. Must be the sweep. Check it out, guys. Hmm. Yeah, it must be the sweep. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. He it's, says it's uh, in the circuitry in the sweep. It's just a different sweep across it. It's yeah. it's mind-blowingly different to me. I think it's because it was designed by a great British company. There you go. <laughs> man. You know it, dude. <laughs> yeah, Where's my American flag? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm a dual citizen. Right here. I'm well, a dual not, citizen. I'm right down the road here. I'll join you. Brilliant. <laughs> JJ, so what you're saying is it's probably got a better sweep than this. Uh, oh. There you go. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> uh, look at that. Yeah, I remember these, that. These actually work good, but yeah, the sweep yeah. is definitely better on the. Uh, yeah, the only thing that bummed me out about my mission panel was I really wanted the green one. <laughs> All the sparkle? <laughs> the limited edition. Yeah, I got that one. Yeah, you got that one? one? Ah. It's a badass looking panel. Hey. I like it. And maybe I need another one. There's room for it. Yeah, just get another one. More is more. That's what I get I get really <laughs> into using the pedals to get, you know, into that mode section within each pedal and Messing with delays while you're running live and like blowing up the feedback or the mix. Talk about yeah, keeping, it, keeping it simple. And we've got these extra pedals, and I'm, I'm getting the Morning Star next week. It'll be even more, oh, even yeah, more complicated. Great. If you it's saw cool. my original pedal board before I got the Helix, the Morning Star guys, if you, if you need a MIDI pedal, uh, I support the guys over there. Uh, Make good stuff. They're good guys. James Toe is. Uh, I saw, I got to, I got to meet him finally at Nam, and they're just, they're phenomenal. I, I actually, uh, I really uh, endorse the, uh, the Morning Star, uh, and also one other, you know, item that I fully get behind is the Sim One. Right yeah, I want, I want to try that. That thing I, is incredible. I had a demo, which and it was really impressive, but I want to try one at home okay. and at a gig, you know. So y'all, you want to hear just a tiny bit of that? Yeah. Do you have the morning do you have the morning Black star as well? I don't have the morning star. I mean okay. I have it, but I, 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 I let somebody else have it, so okay. <clears throat> let's see, let's see if we I can't see the comments in here. I'm on my on YouTube right now. Yeah, I can't either. So Jared, just go to the YouTube channel and pop out the chat, then close that and then come back to the Google Hangouts. Okay, so I'm, on, I'm doing it on my phone. Is it oh, on yeah, yeah, no, you can't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, this is uh, this is my last, last poem, and uh, here's the strat. Um, here's the bridge. Let's see, it's kind of breaking up. Yeah. Is it breaking it too much? How's that? Better? It's probably just the gating for the uh, the video. That's yeah. good. Though. You can tell. Yeah, I hear it. That's good. Have you got an acoustic on there? He turned his mic off. Hey, Chad, I think we lost your voice. Oh, there we go. There we go. Going I, turned, I turned that off to, to mute it. Sorry. So uh, I have the, this is the Martin. I don't know if it's going to come through or not real well, but here's here's the Martin a little bit. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try that thing. How does it feel? 
Sorry. How does this oh. feel? <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that's the thing. With all these things, it's the latency that kills me. I cannot get past any latency. Okay, so so that's that's the thing. There is none. It's instant. It's it. it, it you feel connected. It's like that's this. It, it, listen. I have such a hard time believing you. I want to believe you so bad. <laughs> I'm serious. No, it's good. I tried yeah. it, man. I tried it. it it's, 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 there's no latency. No, so, yeah, it's not working. Look, hey, is that at your shop or is that at your house? This is my house. You have to take it to the shop and I have to come down there. Check okay. that out. Yeah, absolutely. So listen, um, so see if you can hear the, the lag between the mic and, and the tone. <laughs> Nothing. No. Yeah, there's, there's no latency. I tried it. It's there fine. is yeah. zero. But I want to try it with my guitar, my I mean, rig, at a gig, you know, etc. Right. Et but it, you got a shred on it because that's where the latency really comes in. Yeah. Right. right. You know. Well, I can't. Or practicing. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah, so, I can. I can hear latency on uh, any kind of drop tuning pedal. Yeah. As soon as you oh, yeah. start playing fast, all of a sudden the pedal's like, oh, I guess we're doing that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. That, that's the thing. That's the thing. I can hear latency. I, I, I absolutely abhor latency. In, in yeah. fact, uh, six milliseconds throws me off because I suck at guitar. <laughs> so, so the latency really really does affect me and so yeah. when i tell you there's zero latency i mean you, you try one but it's it's actually really incredible how does it compare to the variax uh no latency with this there's latency no i mean i mean the sounds like are they in the ballpark are they better are they worse in my book because this is not a model it's literally uh Im imprint of the tone like an ir it's, oh, it's, it's like tone casting, right? Like, like yeah, the, it's, the sonic. It's yeah. What it does is it takes, it takes you. Re, you record your tone, your guitar pickup into it. Uh -huh. That's the, that is the, uh, the uh, source guitar. So it models the search, source, and then when you go over here and you choose, like for instance, here's the, this is the, this is the, uh, this is my, this is bypassed. <laughs> Now, if I go into a little hot, yeah, a little probably a little hot. Sorry, um, but if I go into the Music Man Axis uh, bridge, it's it's incredible, and it, and it's it's emulating. It takes it takes account of what your source guitar is, mm. and spits out what the other guitar should sound like, understanding what the source is. So that's right. the critical part. Yeah, training it. You have to train it. Yeah, you do, and I and I actually have a video on my website that you know you, you have to. It's hard. You have to go through all thirty six, and you have to do it in two minutes, and you have to do it at a certain pace. So the 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 uh, video on mine. It's good practice. Yeah. <laughs> is it chromatic? So, so there is a, so, the, so the drawback is is. Um, I have programmed one pickup in. <laughs> uh, oh, program all all the three pickups, all three positions. That's yeah, I didn't, I didn't do that. so so. Yeah, it's just one time though, isn't it? Just one time, one right? Time once it's yeah. done, it's done. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, Jason like... Jason Wade just leaving us. He had to had to leave, but saying he's really enjoyed the show and he can't wait to get his helix at the end of the month. Oh, oh great! Cool. Good Woo. to see you, Jason. Rock on, Jason. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Okay. Yeah, I, I want that for the acoustic stuff. That could be kind of cool if it sounds good. I want to try one live. Yeah, I think it. I think it sounds um, pretty incredible um, for the acoustic models. And and once you like, I have actually uploaded. So like, if anybody wanted to play my neck pickup, they can download it. I, I have it up. Oh, uh, okay. So you can actually take and have. Have, you can have my guitar. <laughs> so you can wow. upload uh, 
users profile. can upload their pickups in there as as they get yep. so the community yeah, is going to get are, larger and larger. Those are free, yeah, and then, so you can download users stuff for free. There are paid, you know, models, but like I, I got like the Birdland, um, you know, Gibson Birdland, uh, yeah, the ten wow. fifty stuff, and it's it sounds that sounds pretty, pretty interesting. Maybe some guy with a with an old old Les Paul or something, will like uh, mm. upload it, and people can that's right play and, and a play a vintage. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It's like a Kemper thing, exactly. just yeah, like yeah. Kemper for guitar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and that's that's really the magic here. I really think that it's pretty uh, pretty fantastic. So there's just they, but they still don't have a nylon. No one can do the nylon. <laughs> That's a it's tough just too one, different. Man. I yeah. think somebody different. upload their nylon pickups. No, you can't. I think the nylon, the twelve string stuff they said would be too. It would sound. It wouldn't sound as good. Mm. I just think those those instruments are too far apart. I've tried moment. hard to try to get a steel string to sound nylon, and it's just it's a diff, It's the physics, oh, man. Oh it, yeah. It's yeah. nylon you can, you can impossible. You get the EQ kind of close, but just <laughs> the, the 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 attack is so different. You know. You just got to get tough. a nylon guitar. Yeah. Yeah. The best. I'll way get that. I'll get that. The best way to check, though, is just do a really cool riff uh, near a woman and see if she turns her head. And uh, <laughs> if she does, you know the nylon string one is right. You know, if, uh, yeah, because uh -huh. women, women love nylon string guitars, man. You know, that's all you got to do. Play a few riffs on a nylon string guitar, man. And it's Not that we generalize in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Why he's right. Is, yeah, I mean, I, I have... <laughs> Well, my lead singer is female, so and and like every I do like a lot of piezo type solos and stuff, and she's mm. always like, "Those things make me go cross-eyed when I hear them." <laughs> wow, Nick, you should try that on my next gig. Yeah, yeah. on the next day. Yeah, yeah. Nick, yeah. dig a nylon string guitar, man. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with that. You play a couple Alex. little Spanish riffs on that, and it's wow. like you know. <laughs> Chocolate, wine, and flowers all at the same time. Yeah, forget sweet picking and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got this guy doing all these killer sweeps, and all you have to do is just do a little... A minor arpeggio. <laughs> e minor arpeggio on the yeah. nylon. <laughs> exactly. Next well, thing that's, you know, that's you're nice. Zorro, you know, and it's like, yep, I got you. I got you, baby. Alex Alex Knievel says that's how he met his wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a nylon string? Wow. Yeah. We're all doing it wrong. All this yeah. gear. We don't need uh, matchmaker. Hang out at a grocery oh, store great. and just play nylon string guitars. They're all well, I tried out. that and the <laughs> cops came. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, guys, okay, so this is so, 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 hey, what about some of these other updates? I'm I'm sure everyone's excited about the 58 Fender, but what's this yeah. grammatic of Lagrange thing? I don't know anything about that. That's a custom amp builder out of, I, I would have thought Texas or somewhere. The Isn't this something to do with Billy Gibbons, the amp? Yeah, uh -oh. range. Yeah. Like yeah. It. It's it's like the Billy Gibbons. I think that's why they use it. Okay. I went and I went on YouTube after the after the NAM show and and looked up. I, I'd never heard of the amps and just started looking at them online and some demos of them and they're just an old Tweedy killer sounding amp, man. Give us another flavor, you know? So yeah. it's like the 58. I mean, it'll be similar to the, the 58. I, I, I would have thought. I don't, I, you know, I'm not sure. Yeah. But I know oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm awesome. excited for the Rev amp. I'll tell you that. The Rev 120. Oh, yeah. That's going to be nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a yeah. revelation. It yeah. is. <laughs> there was a lot of excitement. I went live during the, during the show at NAM on, on Facebook. It blew my mind. I had like, 200 people watching in like two minutes it was like wow. it just blew up and uh all the comments for the rev was mind-blowing that's a killer amp they got to do a ksr next too. yeah king of tone there it is oh, that's, that's what i'm there. looking for right here Dude. so so yeah. uh also <laughs> just the the whole implementation of the new core that's uh gonna be interesting. yeah um, what I wanted to mention was the fact that our Helix is now going to become a keyboard for our computer. So mm. you could basically sit there and operate your whole recording software right. sit, sitting on the Helix, jamming I just, out, I, start and stopping, everything is fully. Really? Yeah, the Helix I, is now going to be your, your keyboard. Yeah, yeah. You I just give it, a it, it, will, it, will, it will replicate, uh, uh, Jared, it will replicate your keyboard. So you can assign keyboard <laughs> functions. And it I, not. 
I just reviewed this on my channel. This is crazy. I just reviewed man. this on my channel, which which controls the YouTube uh, YouTube videos. So you can do it now from the Helix if you own a Helix. So you haven't got to have this one. Pretty cool. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's yeah, they, yeah. They can start, start, stop, and make your make the the. YouTube it's useful. I use it a lot. Oh, and I yeah. use it to speed up my solo. Oh, mine, dude. <laughs> One of the main reasons I got the Helix outside of the tones, I mean, I've got my amps, but yeah. was the routing. You know, yeah. in my room, my band can come here. We can play everything, whatever, but I can record all my tones directly to the door. Everything going through everything. It's just the routing potentials were just You're, you're absolutely crazy. right, dude. You're absolutely right. And the thing is, with, with the thing I like about it so much is when I first got the Helix, it was my all in one tone routing it was just it just did everything everything and then and then what happened was and this is what i like about uh line six and the helix product as well is the fact that they're not so include uh exclusive they're not so like well it only works like with apple i freaking hate apple because oh we only work with our stuff you know what i mean proprietary you know, so when you buy an Apple, anything, you're stuck on the orchard for the rest of your life, you know, and it sucks. So with Helix, it's like, oh, you want to use an app? Fine. You can use an app with our product. And and it's simple. They don't make yeah, it Yeah, hook your pedals up to our product, you know. Yeah, exactly. Like, we're here for you. We built this for you, not for us. And uh, and what I like about it so much is when I ended up going Synergy, because I bought a Synerg the Synergy rigs, I got the Syn – I got two – Make sure I get the right amount of fingers up here. Two Sin 2s. Um, so I got four Synergy modules now in there. And uh, the, the Helix switches them and routes everything. And I have all the effects and everything that I want. So now I got Tube Tone. And I got all my favorite amps that I want. They're real amps. I got a diesel. You know, I got the diesel VH4 in there. I got a Soldano. I got, um, you know, a Friedman and a, and a, and a, and a Fender for cleans. And the Helix switches it all and allows it all to go routing through there. And it was super easy to set up. It literally took me 20 minutes to just program everything and wow. put all the effects in, and I was done. I'm like, I could do a gig right now. Do you have that you now? Know? You got the Synergy stuff now? Hell yeah, man. He's got an insane rig, man. Your rig looks insane. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's literally... Uh, it was, it, I, I voted it product of the year last year on my channel. I mean, I said it was cause I just thought, you know, what a way for like two amps to, to push back in a good way though, and say, mm. all right, fine. You want convenience? Here you go. So that's actually what I tried When I said I tried the, um, Friedman 12 at NAM two years ago, uh -huh. that's what I tried. I tried the, the, the direct out of a synergy into that oh, Friedman and nice. it sounded awesome. It sounded oh, really good. Good, yeah, it's yeah. killer stuff, and and it and it pairs so well with the Helix, um, you know. So like when I go out and play out now, I just I literally walk in with the Helix in one hand and my four amps that are in a, like a um, you know a rat case in the other. I walk in, slap them on the floor. I got Chad's um, you know labelers, all the labeling you know stuff for my cables, and I could literally just. Plug in uh, three on one side, three on the other, and I'm done. Front and then what, what do you what do you plug that into then? Into a real into a power cab? Into a powered cab? Uh, no, I use IEMs live. So it, I I have mm -hmm. uh, two. I have my stereo signal on my um, helix from my uh, quarter inch outs going to my uh, my um, uh, what you might call it my in ear monitor rig, and then uh, front of house gets the uh, XLRs. So what's the synergy for? Synergy is uh, they yeah. give me my tone. Yeah, the amps. Yeah, they give me my tone. So are you, are you running the direct out of the Synergy into the front of the house? Uh, yeah, so the Synergy is route through the Helix in four cable method. And then okay. uh, the direct outs from the Helix go to front of house, and then the quarter inch go to my IEMs. Okay, so and, what about uh, the Freedmans then? Do you use them on stage? Uh, good question. No, I don't need to because I use the IEMs. I tried it once. Um, one of our shows we did, it was a smaller venue, and I was like, I'm bringing my cab. I just brought one cab just to see, and it might have been a placement issue because I, um, I put it right in the middle of the stage behind our singer, and her mic kept picking it up, and in her ears, she kept hearing too much guitar, and she was like, you're killing me. So <laughs> I had to kill the cab, you know, after the first song. Um, hey, let me take a minute. So, um, okay, so as everybody probably here knows, I've got the uh, – um, 
some cool new skin stuff skin stuff right here and uh the foot toppers so this is the a little bit of an announcement about the foot toppers i got <laughs> slammed with orders and we are making them we should start right i gotta place my order those yeah. are cool yeah so and uh there'll be a slight slight design change for the better um nothing nothing major but just uh the the magnets were actually uh creating grit uh, you know metal grit from the floor or what you know whatever just gets on the ground oh it's collecting it was collecting it so we we ditched the magnet and we've got it set where uh it comes up from the bottom a nice solid connection at the bottom uh set screw on there puts it on there oh cool just touch the top it'll, it'll work every time it, it's uh just they're just going to be rock solid and nice. you, I, I don't we got a lifetime lifetime uh you know war limited warranty you just pay the shipping if something happens to them but i don't think anything is going to happen to them um <laughs> and so with that said um i want to thank everybody for being here i want to keep these to about an hour hour and a half so uh lively discussion excellent we have more to discuss next week if y'all want to come back uh we'd love to you know uh, absolutely we're gonna, uh, so this is the plan. Yeah. It's going to be every Sunday, four o'clock, same time. This Sunday, because of uh, because of certain things, I'm. It's probably going to be. We're going to have to end it right here. But um, uh, I just want to thank everybody who came and and supported the the chat at the on the channel. I don't even know how many we had. Um, it seemed like there was seventeen watching the whole time, but. It seems like numbers fluctuate more than that. So I just reset it. Maybe there's more people watching. I don't Are know. you going to post this to your YouTube channel? Yeah, it's going to it's gonna go live after this. Okay. We got nine people watching. Yeah, I actually think there was more people watching. I don't know. Uh, but we got nine people, ten people watching now. So, Oh, um, sweet. You know, there, there was probably more earlier, but I didn't check it. Uh, but just thank you, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna say our goodbyes. We'll stop the broadcast, yep. but stay on. Uh, here, guys, and we'll we'll finish up. Thanks for tuning Thanks. in, everybody. Great. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, everybody. I'll miss you. Miss you all. Yeah. <laughs>